So. Will it always be burning the house? Well, and how do I put this? Is there a way for me to pray? Um sorry. I am both face and mind. Remember how I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. Tired. You can tell him some other time, okay? I'm gonna head back then. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This'll be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before, when you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. There's no point in even having an election. Shido's gonna win. Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him. Like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those phantom thieves were nothing more than scum in the end. I'll show you.
you going out? You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? Ugh. <sighs> the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Akeshi isn't here. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Conditions have not since been he's met. going to subjugate everyone as prime minister, perhaps a school? What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? Conditions have not been met. It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Or maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. That man over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me, I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. An exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. No matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh.
Did we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to Diet Building, too. So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid composed face. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines. I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. Well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya Station. Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! Hmm? Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? He didn't seem well a moment ago. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope!
I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayoshi Shido. Let us all set sail toward a happy future, together. I hope to continue serving you all. Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, brat. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before. At the elevators. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? That moron! Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue! What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. What a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit! I don't believe it! <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this.
Oh, you want to do it? Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become Prime Minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people... Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? A ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual buildings on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. All right, do it. Anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <laughs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <gasps> the hell? Huh? <gasps> is about. Huh. This is bullshit! A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? 
Whether it be for glory, or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this! We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. All right! We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin! Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. Wait! Is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed. Those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. <laughs> what is with these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. Come on, let's make him see what this ship really is. Strong. Don't do anything wrong. 
my persona! Johanna! Nice one, Queen! You hit their weak point! Persona! Huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There are slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. You sure move on quick. But what's this qualification thing about? 
Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! Well then! Joker. Yes. Still, this is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real too, but talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right. Let's put together the information we gathered. Huh. Gotcha. You're right. Seems. Um. Please hear me out. Hey, listen. <laughs> listen up.
Use. I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head. I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Right? I totally get you. We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. All right, let's get this done quickly. Hey! Thank <laughs> you. 